Hello everyone and welcome to Woodson Wave Report. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. And uh, this is our disclaimer and our subscription services. We want to highlight our new triggers and target subscription for 144 months recurring. And on the disclaimer, I want to make sure you guys know that uh, we are not a trading service. We do not offer specific trades. Any trades you make are your own and there is significant risk in trading futures and you can lose money please consult with your own financial advisor before making any trades that being said i want to let you guys know that uh, if you hit on subscriptions on our website you can see there's the triggers and targets 144 we'll get to our uh, home page here there we go there and you hit the um register right there to get to that page kind of show that backwards anyway um also want to let you guys know with uh without further ado that um some subscribers started using our triggers and targets to use the triggers entry points the targets for exit points and the mobs or make or breaks as stops uh there are a lot of people doing very well with these and i'll just show you real quick uh some of the testimonials i could go through all of them but they're there's a lot of people uh, doing quite well with these triggers and targets, managing a 401k. Um, here we've got uh, big institutions. Um, anyway, um, average 9,250, 770% increase on their trading. 6K on one day, best day ever. All, all goes on and on and on and on, okay? Balance of 25K, turned it into 89, turned that into 112, turned it into 131. Okay, um, anyway, uh, so much for that. I want to get into the uh, triggers and targets if we can. And this is on the ES. And uh, this is a little busy, but I want to show you guys here. By the way, the first one we did was back here. The, uh, the low was uh, October 27th. It was a Friday and we had a our first trigger on October 30th, the, the next trading date on Monday, okay? Uh, that was our upside trigger. We had targets and it went, well, that made a lot of money, as you can see right there, up to that 53.33 high. But uh, let me show you guys this in full page mode because it is a little busy, a little crowded, okay? We'll go, and we move that 41.85 trigger, which is way down here, up here, so it's, easier to see with all of these okay so we had that that's 1148 and we have a 400 and we got another trigger right here at 4841 on january 19th another one at 5066 on january 22nd another one on march 7th and another one on march 20th as you can see there's no set schedule for these triggers triggers and the targets are the Fibonacci extensions, okay? But uh, if you added a target, I'm sorry, if you added a contract here and the futures contracts are $50 per contract, and if you added a contract at each trigger, that's five triggers, there is the, the point total and the dollar total of profit into that 53 33 50 high on april 1st will you get 100 percent of the move no all right i'm always happy with 60 or 80 percent of the move you can get out whenever you want but uh that's the basis of the triggers and targets okay you uh go long on the upside triggers go short on the downside triggers okay so uh that was a good move there that wasn't the only move okay that was the upside move and then we started moving down okay and then we had downside triggers okay i want to get these more into the picture here okay from that 5333 high we had a 5235 trigger on april 4th a 5190 150 trigger on the 10th and a 5060 trigger on april 17th those three combined right here you can see those downside triggers gave us 29,800 in profit and you can see those three added together so you uh short one here 
add one here and add one there. Of course, where is it wrong? We always ask ourselves when we make a chart or a trade, where is it wrong? If it's going down here and it goes above 53, 33.50, then it's wrong. It's not down, it's a higher high. Okay, so that's what some uh, people are using as a stop or make or break is 53.33.50 when it's going down, okay? So we caught those, and that was the end of that up move right there, okay? Had to cash out there, or before there, more than likely. All right, so after that down, we kind of didn't really do anything on this up until that 53.33 previous high was broken on June 15th, and I think it's actually, I'm sorry, I think it's May 15th. Yeah, because there's the 23rd. Let me... Um, let me fix that. Okay. My apologies. This is basically the introduction to triggers and targets. Okay. But once that uh, that high was uh, broken, there is May 15th right there. Okay. Then that created another upside trigger. We had an upside trigger here that lasted from October to April with five different triggers. Okay. We had three downside from uh, the April high, and, and it was just not too much uh, longer after that, into April 19th, so that was really 18 calendar days and three triggers, okay? And that was short-lived. By the way, we caught that low within a point, okay? So um, here we are here. We've got the, the 53, 33, 50 trigger, okay? And that made a 227-point game into that 55 61 high we had more we didn't really do much on this downside didn't really do much on this upside except for the 5333 once it was broken to the upside and we created um two more triggers this is the one we got within a point we had a 5204 target hit 5205 okay but uh and this is um a day old that 55 uh 61 high was on june 18th and today is the 18th i think it was on the 17th anyway and there is thursday which hasn't happened yet i'm going into the future okay uh, i re <laughs> i'm remiss to uh count, count these targets here triggers and targets okay so we had a 5385 trigger right here on june 11th and a 5517 trigger right here on june 17th okay the the ones later in time are going to produce a less amount of gains and the ones at the beginning of the move obviously are going to do the bulk of the gains or bigger gains you can see this one here from the 50 um 385 trigger produced 175 points over 8,000 gains and this one 43 points so far and counting over 2,000 in gains so this is the triggers and targets there's no set like once a week once a month okay these happened within six days these three down happened uh within 14 days basically 13 days actually and once we started this way back here in um october of 23 with that first trigger then we started saying hey we have something here okay so then we got another one in January, another on the 19th, on the 22nd, then March 7th, then March 20, and that uptrend ran its course. Okay, so this is just the uh, introduction, a brief explanation of the triggers and targets. I've been asked, is there an algorithm? Um, I guess the answer is yes, it's in my head. It's based on Elliott Wave and, and Fibonacci extensions and retracements, but... Uh, yeah, when, when it breaks above a certain point, then we know it's going higher. And that's what it's based on. The same to the downside. When it breaks below a certain low, we know it's going lower. And then we use our, our Fibonacci extensions for targets as far as price is concerned. Okay, that's a brief explanation of the triggers and targets. And uh, till next time, take care, everyone.